Hey guys, so I am back with another video and I thought this one would be actually pretty educational. So I went to a master class for NARS. This was um, in collaboration with my school, Industry Makeup Academy. So we went, um, my students, like some alumni, took a master class on the NARS signature face, complexion, and smoky eye. And it was really great because it was like a two hour demo by Tiffany, one of the employees of NARS. And um, a lot of us already knew makeup, so we were able to really get an in-depth instruction. And then we went shopping. So I have a huge NARS haul. And I'm also going to demo the look. And I'll show a picture, upload a picture. Um, it's like a slight smoky eye, radiant complexion, and like kind of a bold lip. So I want to put on a headband. Because my hair looks crazy, anywho. And I think this will be, like I said, really interesting. So I'm going to um, show you what I got. First off, I ordered their toner, which she raved about. She said it was like, had um, a, it was a chemical toner, but it was great for cleansing the skin. It had really small amounts of AHA and BHA. And she said it was that was really good for um, cleaning the skin prior to makeup application, um, getting rid of any flakes. I'm gonna use this Paula's Choice Exfoliate BHA liquid exfoliant. Um, just really shouldn't be using a lot of it this because I'm pregnant and I shouldn't be using acids on my face, but just one time. So this is what I would probably do with the NARS one. And I'm excited to add the NARS one in my kit because I want to try an exfoliator that's gentle, you know, enough to use on my clients. Um, probably wouldn't use it on super sensitive skin because it does have the AHA and BHA, but she said it was only trace amounts. So after that, she did some really nice like priming and um, not priming, moisturizing. And the key is to use fingers. Okay, so I picked up the Luminous Moisture Cream, which is great for um, daytime use, but it is a richer formula, so not for oily skin. There was another one that she recommended for oily skin. And I'm at, almost out of my Beekman 1802 moisturizer. So I wanted to get this and I do have right now probably normal skin but I tend to get dry so I love a rich moisturizer. I actually also got my mother-in-law the res their restorative night treatment which is great for a dull dry skin and it renews it um, and it's a lightweight gel. So this was really pricey so I'm glad I had my pro discount for NARS. So um, that was, I'm going to give this one to my mother-in-law because she's wanting to like invest in her skin right now and she's like in her 60s so it's always good to like you know, really like continue and evolve with your skincare routine. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply eye cream. She also recommended an uh, NARS eye cream, but I didn't get it. Um, so I'm just gonna apply one that I have on hand. Eye cream is great for um, your clients and yourself, obviously. It's just like an extra step to soothe um, this really delicate skin, fill in any fine lines. Great for kind of a primer for concealer under the eyes. Okay, so then I'm gonna use the NARS Luminous Moisture Cream as my moisturizer. And like I said, she was a really big fan of using your fingers. Someone asked her, which I thought was a good question, like if any clients had any issues with using bare fingers on um, the, the skin, and um, especially with COVID, which is always like an issue right now. But she said that as long as she tells her clients a purpose and like, make sure she cleanses her, her hands well and knows that they know that like they don't usually give her any problems with it this is actually very nice it is a little oily feeling i will say so i can definitely see why you wouldn't want to use that for oily skin but it is really really hydrating it's almost like having a moisturizer and beauty oil in one okay so my face is nice and moisturized so i exfoliated eye cream moisturizer now I'm gonna go in with complexion. Okay, so she really recommended the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation because it's um, long lasting and it's great for most skin types and it's not super matte, um, especially if you warm in your fingers and really press into the skin. I didn't get that one. Um, I did buy one though for my friend Jamie who is in need of a new foundation. This is what it looks like. So, um, my friend Jamie actually is slightly oily and this is a 16 hour foundation so it's great for her for she wants to wear it to work. Um, the one I bought myself is um, a repurchase which is the NARS Sheer Glow which you guys have probably heard of. 
Um, my summer shade is Syracuse. So I bought this, and I love the dewy effect, but this is a 12 hour wear versus 16 hour. So it might not be great for oily skin. And then the last um, type of coverage she recommended was um, the Pure Radiant Tinted Moisture, which is truly a tinted moisturizer. It's like very sheer. I bought this one for my mother-in-law because she wanted something that was just like really, really like natural. So different coverage levels, different wear time. She said you'd want to pair this with a concealer though because it's so sheer. I am going to use today Syracuse. And like I'm going to use my fingers because that's what she did. And I'm also going to use the Radiant Creamy Concealer. I finally got it. Everybody's been using it for years. I got the color Custard, which is like everybody's color. So I'm gonna show you my shade, Medium One Custard. And it looks pretty light, but I did want it for a highlighting shade. And then I actually wanna show you another shade that they recommend for most deeper skin tones like my mother-in-law, which is Medium Dark Three Amande, A-M-A-N-D-E. So this is a great under eye brightener for a deep skin tone. For me, this would be like almost like a contour, but on my mother-in-law, she's very deep. This would be beautiful on her. So I'm gonna start with the foundation. Oh, this one doesn't have a pump. Okay, it's interesting. I have another one though, an old one that has a pump. So I'm just gonna take it and pour it into the back of my hand. She even suggests like applying it on your palm to warm it up. But really what she did is she just literally like pressed it into the skin. Now as you can see, this is sheer glow, it's dewy. And I'm just pressing it into the skin with my fingers. And this is actually a really good shade match. I'm glad I ended up getting this one because it was between this shade, Syracuse, and Valencia. Valencia is like a little bit lighter, but it looked really good on me too. So if you're my skin tone and you're looking kind of for um, shades, you might want to try either of those. So I'm just applying this all over. My skin is pretty even, so I don't need extreme coverage. And I like a sheer kind of medium dewy finish. So this is why I like this foundation. You can see it looks really pretty. I don't usually use my fingers for foundation, but I can see the benefits of doing that because like I said, it really uses the warmth of your fingers to go into the skin. And um, I'm trying to try to do the upward motions you know, because that's better for your circulation and prevent wrinkles. Another thing that she recommended were the um, booster drops. She said that this is great for your kit. So I got three, I got medium dark. I also got light and dark. So this is something I'm gonna add into my kit. It's actually kinda has a light shimmer to it and it's a glow booster. It's tinted, so it's not gonna affect your um, your foundation, it's just gonna add a little bit of like a glow or a tint. So this one does have a pump. I'm probably gonna depot these for my kit, but I'm gonna show you on my hand. So that's what it looks like, but when I rub it in, you see how it's just like a little tint. So she said you could apply this on top of your foundation, mixed in. I'm just showing you, see how it gives me a little bit of a tan? So I'm just applying it to the perimeter of my face. I would have probably mix this in with foundation, um, to kind of give that um, glossy look a little bit more dewy um, or apply on top to give that that glow. So it is very sheer, but it can I can see it tinting the foundation a little bit if you need a little bit of warmth. So that's the medium slash dark. I'm also going to use the, oh, in my kit, the light, which I'll show you. So this one would be great for more fair skin tones, obviously. When I swatch it, that's what it looks like. But obviously, like I said, it shears out and it gives a slight glow. And I want something like that in my kit because I don't have anything like that. So as you can see, I can even probably wear this just for like a pearlescent effect. Very, very subtle. I'll let you know how I like it. I haven't um, used it on clients. This is my first time using it on myself. Uh, you can see my skin though is really gorgeous and dewy. And this is the dark called Barbuda, and I'll show you what this one looks like. She gave an interesting story. She said Francois Nars, the creative Nars, one of his first clients was Naomi Campbell, so he really specialized in a lot of the deeper shades. So as you can see, this one is also sheer, but it has a little bit of 
color in it. This would be great to, to um, bump up a foundation that needed a little bit of warmth. So I'm gonna play with these and let you know. But right now all I did is I really just kind of put it on top just so you could see it. So I also purchased the NARS eye primer, which I'm gonna use in two ways. So they have tinted eye primers, which I think are great. I'm a huge fan of an eyeshadow base or a primer for the eye. It helps eyeshadows stick. It helps colors more, be more vibrant and long wearing. And they had a clear, which they gave us a sample of a, a clear one, which is nice. Um, and I also bought the light. I have a darker one from Smashbox in my kit, so I just needed a lighter shade. So this is what it looks like, and I'm gonna swatch it for you. So as you can see, it is light and it has a tint to it. So this will be great for evening it out uneven eyelids, but it's not too light where it'll like kind of ash out the lie. The thing I thought she did was interesting is she put a teeny bit underneath the eyes. So she said if there's like textured eye skin, this will help to kind of smooth it out. And it actually does feel really nice and smooth. It's not really drying like some eye primers. But I'm gonna use it under there and I'm also gonna use it on my lid. See how it's got just enough nude coloring so it's not too light. Oh yeah, this is nice. I really like the way this feels. So I have that on. I'm actually going to move to concealer next though. So like I said, I have the Radiant Creamy Concealer and Custard, which I'll use as my highlighting shade. And I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand and I'm gonna tap it in. Okay, I'm using not a lot of brushes for this because I want, again, the warmth of my fingers to kind of pick up um, or kind of incorporate and seamlessly melt the color into my skin. So even though this looks super light on the tube, on my skin, it's it's pretty sheer. Like, so it kind of, um, it covers, but it's not like giving me like a whited out effect. And I definitely feel it sticking onto the eye shadow primer underneath my eyes. That's actually kind of nice. I wouldn't do that for extremely dry under eyes because you don't want to dry out any under eye even further if that's an issue. So now I'm gonna put this in the center of my face to do the center highlight. And here too. I have a little red mark right there. Let me wipe that away. I don't know what that was. I like to use my ring finger because it's the gentlest finger. I guess I don't really need gentle on my chin, but definitely underneath the eyes. And I'll put some down the center of my nose. Okay. So my skin looks and feels really, really dewy. I do need to set it though, because I feel it feels a little sticky. Okay, I might put a little bit more concealer later. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is move on to brows. I did not get the brow pencil from NARS, um, cause I already have a lot. So I'm just going to I'm gonna do what I've been doing, which is um, using the brow wax from Patrick Ta and my Urban Decay brow blade. So I'm gonna do that really quick off camera. But she, um, Tiffany, the instructor, was all about a natural kind of brow. Um, she didn't go in too hard or anything like that. Um, and when you think of NARS, like the NARS look, you don't really think about like drama, right? You think about like kind of like editorial, gorgeous glow. Okay, as you can see, I'm trying to go for a fluffier brow look, but not like crazy, crazy like soap brows. So I like the spikiness of the hairs and mine will naturally fall a little bit because my hairs are so straight. So that's the brow done. Um, She did take con some concealer and she sculpted around them. So I'm gonna take my custard and I'm going to get like a small concealer brush and go like right underneath just to kind of like clean up that line a little bit 
Make sure this eye primer is really blended in because you don't want your eyeshadow to skip at all. Okay, so she did the NARS Classic Smoky Eye using eye pencils and kind of just like doing that smudged effect. So I have a couple to show you. So one of the pencils I, I got is called Mambo, which I had purchased from NARS um, at a different event I went to a while back and I love it. I use it on myself. It's like this gorgeous reddish brown pencil. And the, she was saying that the red on this pencil makes it really, really work, especially on deeper skin tones. This could actually also be a gorgeous lip liner. It's really creamy. I have this. I've been using it as my like Laurel Brown, Laurel Lash Line Brown smudger. So I will use that in my kit because I'm um, always put brown on the bottom, no matter what color I look. And then the other one, which is kind of a little bit newer, is their black pencil called Gran Via. Black is black. They have another one. The old shade had a little bit of green in it. You could definitely tell the difference. So, I got this one as well. Right now I carry the Urban Decay 24-7 pencil. I think it's called Zero in my kit, but I'm always willing to try something new. So, she said that these actually are really, really creamy and then they self-set, which is nice. So, what I'm going to do is take the black and then I'm going to take a black shadow. Okay, I'll use this black one from Make It Forever. She had a, a NARS duo eyeshadow duo, which was half black and then white, which would come in really handy, but I already have a lot of eyeshadow. So I'm going to start by laying down the black line. And I have a monolid, so like, eyeliner disappears. Do you see how it's gone? But it's there. So I can be a little generous with this, but I would definitely suggest you start, oops, you start um, small and blend. Let me just clean up that little boo-boo right there. And I'm just gonna kind of redefine this inner corner. It definitely gives me enough play time. Like it's, it sets, a, but I don't think it sets super fast. So on the bottom, I'm gonna do the brown pencil just to kind of soften it up. And as you can see, it is pulling red. So I'm going to take a different brush for the lower lash line. This is just a rounded crease brush. Okay, so the, it's kind of like weird how this bottom is so brown. But I wanted to show you the color and how beautifully it blends as well. So what I'm going to do is put the black into my waterline. So that way it kind of looks like I faded from black to brown. This is such a nice pencil, y'all. See how that intensity? And then I'm just gonna apply a little bit more black on my top lash line as well. Just to add some more pigment back because I did blend a lot of it up. So instead of like shearing it, I'm just gonna tap out the edges to kind of make a gradient effect from dark black to like this like gray. And I like to personally wing my shadows out a little bit because I think it flatters my smaller eyes. You can do that if you want, or you can keep it right where your eyes end. Okay, see, pretty, right? Okay, so I'm gonna do the other side really quickly. Okay, so as you can see, I lay down like the base. Got my little wipe to kind of clean up the edges. And now I'm going to set that with shadow. So I'll go in with a black eyeshadow. And then I'm just going to go over the black liner. Hope I don't get fallout. Be careful and just tap it. This is kind of intensifying the color, but because we have that black liner underneath, it makes it so much easier than trying to pack on a matte black eyeshadow because matte shadows are notoriously tricky to kind of get even. And I'm gonna take a fluffy brush with the same black and that way it's kind of like a looser kind of application and I'm just going to blend this up and set that faded area with the black. And I'll set that lower lash line a little bit later because I did buy a bronzer. Okay, so the eyes are pretty much done. I think I'm going to throw on a lash really quick. Okay, so this is the Climax Extreme. She recommended this one for volume, the original Climax for length. So I'm going to try to use it. Y'all know my lashes suck, so um, bear with me. 
but it is gripping onto my lashes nicely. I like this kind of formula of volumizing. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is set my face with some powders and add some blush and add some blush to my eyeshadow. So I love the NARS Soft Velvet Powder. I have one shade in Mountain, which I bought for myself. And it ended up being too tan, so I have it in my kit, which it's gorgeous. I also bought um, another shade called Heat, which I'll show you. And then I bought the pressed version called the shade Desert for my friend Jamie because she needed a powder to set her new foundation I got her and I'll show that to you as well. So the velvet finish is really nice. It has hyaluronic acid in the powder and that's why it looks so good. I do want to show you also I got Jamie the air matte blush in Orgasm. I was trying to, she's not a big makeup wearer and I was trying to convince her to get a blush because it would really brighten up her fair to medium complexion. So Heat is a darker version of the same powder. I have mountain in my kit already. I thought I probably am missing heat because it's a shade darker. They had one um, one powder that was even darker than heat, but I feel like I would use this one more. And because it's translucent, I could probably get away with um, using this on very deep skin. So I love this color. What I do is I depot it into like a sifter stacker powder jar from Makeup Forever. So I'm able to carry just a little bit and I keep this stash at home. But what I'm going to do is take just some um, Laura Mercier powder. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna take the Laura Mercier original really quickly just to kind of set underneath my eyes because that's, you know, creasing the center of the face where I have a lighter, that lighter shade. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do next which I don't know if it'll work because it was too dark for me before. I'm going to take Mountain. And I'm going to use Mountain like on the perimeter of my face. Because it's like, it's still translucent. So I think this is, yeah, this is fine. Because it's like the perimeter of my face is bronzed anyways. Okay, perfect. I don't know if you can tell, but that powder is just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. If you love the Laura Mercier, you will love this too. Okay. So what I'm going to do next is I'll show you my other new product I gifted myself. This is the NARS bronzing powder. She used a couple of different bronzing powders on the model which were deeper. I forgot what the shades were but they were gorgeous on her darker brown skin. Casino is a classic shade from NARS. I, I think I had this in a duo before but I never really used to use it. Um, but this is brand new and it's gorgeous. This is a great shade for like tan skin tones like mine. So I'm going to take this really quickly and I'm going to hit um, like a contour slash bronze. So I'm going to just hit like the contour right here. Do you see like the more specific contour? I'm using a smaller brush for this. I want to get the NARS, um, I think it's called the Edo Kabuki brush. It's kind of shaped like this but it's a lot softer. Okay, so I hit the contour and then I'm going to go in with a fluffier brush and just kind of hit like the bronze, which is like the three or the E, depending on what side. So it's like jaw, cheek, forehead. Okay, so nice and bronze. And then I'm going to use a NARS blush. Let's see what blush will I use. I have like a lot. I don't have, carry them in my kit because I'm greedy and I use them all myself. <laughs> But I'm going to use um, Deep Throat, which I think um, works better than, on me than the Orgasm. I think Orgasm's a little light on me. She did say there is a new one called Orgasm X, which is uh, um, brighter. So that might work on more tan skin tones. But Deep Throat, I feel like, shows up on my tan skin. So I'm just going to apply some of this, which is gorgeous. Okay. And then I'm going to put some of this, and this is what she did too into the eye socket so it just kind of complements do you see how it complements um the eyes and it helps blend out that smoke i love doing this for my clients so i always do that trick i'm gonna put a little bit underneath the eye as well just to kind of tie it all in and just help continuing to blend so i wanted to show you i got my mother-in-law two products one of them um was 
they have a light reflecting powder, which I have the um, clear one. I think I forget what it's called, but it's great for underneath the eye and it's not too matte. Um, it's great for like kind of distracting from fine lines. So I got her the darker shade. There's only two, like the clear and the, this one. This one's called Sunstone. This will great work really beautiful on deeper skin tones. It reflects light, fine lines, but it's sheer enough where it's not too intense, you know? So that's making a great kind of like under eye highlight setting powder. And I also got her an eyeshadow duo because she wanted an easy eyeshadow duo went for some easy shades. This is the called Isold. I-S-O-L-D-E. These are like foolproof shades, especially for deeper skin. Um, it's like a bronzy and a goldy. You can't go wrong with these colors. Like she could literally just go like this on the lid and be done. So I wanted to show that to you because um, NARS has beautiful eyeshadow. I just have so much eyeshadow on my kit that I was like, and it's expensive eyeshadow. So I was like, eh, I'm good. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is the lip. So she went for like a purple lip liner and she suggested a couple of things. She was saying if you have issues with like getting lips to be straight, she said start by going up because that way you can actually see what you're doing. And then she said lift the chin up and go and do the under part. So I'm going to do that. I didn't buy the NARS lip pencil lot because I have a million, but this one is like a purpley shade called Scorpio from Juvia's Place. And then I'm going to go underneath. I'm pretty sure she chose the purple lip liner because the model had a deeper skin tone. It kind of complimented it. But we go make it work on me. I have to hurry because I have to go to work soon. Okay, so just gonna like um, brush it out like an ombre effect. Okay. And then she did a pop of color and I'm actually gonna use a NARS lipstick. This one is the shade Shiap and it's hot pink. So I'm gonna use this to kind of help blend in that purple. And it makes it kind of like a custom shade. It's like a hot pink purple. See how pretty that is? Okay, and then what I'm going to do, and this is kind of one of my tricks I like to do, is I'll take a blender and just go in. Okay, and then I'm going to go back in really lightly with that lip liner just to kind of perfect the edges. Okay, so let me go ahead and that's it. I'm going to add some lashes really quickly just to kind of finish off the look. Okay, guys, so this is the final look. So smoky eye, bold lip, radiant skin. I'm going to do one last step and I'm going to take that um, skin booster in medium dark tangsy, the tinted glow booster, that's what it's called. And I'm going to put a pump on my hand and I'm actually going to tap this into the skin on top of everything because I want to add a little bit more radiance and you can use this underneath foundation mix in with foundation you can use it on top of foundation it's very sheer so it's not like interrupting any formulas but I feel like this will bring the glow back a little bit to give that NARS like glow look and they don't use setting sprays they're all about their belief in the power of their foundations and complexion products being long wearing as well as the powders to set. So yeah, this added a little bit of glow. So this is the final look guys. What do you think? So went, got through everything, all the products. We have an event again, that's open to the public um, with IMA and the NARS boutique in Buckhead here in Atlanta. So it will be on Sunday. I believe it's June 13th. Let me just double check that. Yep, Sunday, June June 13th from 11 to 3. It's a closed event, so it's like a demo, interactive a lesson, master class from 11 to 1, and then shopping 1 to 3, and it was such a good class. So I will link that below. So basically, you sign up, and you, um, you get a gift card um, built into the price, and part of the price covers the lesson, the gift card with NARS, and you get a 30% shopping discount with them. So it's a really good 
it's worth it. It's totally worth the class and I will be there and we'll have snacks and refreshments. So I'll leave that link below if you're in Atlanta. I'd love to see you. Let me know if you're coming. It's also going to be IMA alumni too, but we want to make this one open up to the public. So that way, if you're interested in NARS or interested in IMA, we can meet you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look slash tutorial haul. And until next time, I hope you guys have a great night. Ciao, Bellas.